Today we're doing a Breath of the Wild Nuzlocke. I don't know if anyone has done a Breath of the Wild Nuzlocke before, but I'll explain it to you. All right, I recorded this in post because I did a terrible job of explaining it on the stream. The rules are permadeath, which means that if Link ever dies, I restart the entire game. I'm not allowed to use repeat weapons, which means if I pick up a weapon and that weapon breaks or I lose it in any way, drop it, get shocked by an arrow, I can never use that weapon ever again. To make it more interesting, I'm not allowing the Master Sword. I have to do all of the Divine Beasts. I can't save scum, which means I can't go back to a previous save to undo any of my mistakes that I make. I can't flee from combat, so if an enemy notices me, I have to fight until one of us is defeated. No monster masks, which makes enemies not attack you. I can't use bombs in combat unless I have nothing else. I think that is all the rules. And of course, we are doing it in master mode. Have you done any practice or strategizing for this? Uh, no. Not at all. Absolutely none. I have not practiced whatsoever. All right. To start off, I'm just gonna pick this up. I'm opening these. I don't care. We need armor. We need something more than nothing. All right. We're actually gonna throw this on and we can use armor. Armor is fine. Can we throw boomerangs? Yes. I can throw a boomerang if I catch it. If I don't catch the boomerang, then it's gone forever. Can you pick up arrows? Yeah, I, 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 no, I can't pick up any arrows. Nope, no arrows allowed. You, you can pick up bows, but no arrows. All right, tree branch. That's the only tree branch we'll ever get. Nickname it, uh, we're gonna name it branch after, uh, branch in chat. We're naming branch after Bryn, yeah. For, for combat, I can, I am allowed to do stuff like this where I like roll a boulder off of a cliff and stuff. Like that is totally fine. Now that I'm thinking about it, if we ever see a weapon that we know the name of, we can't pick it up. I don't need to record anything. Can you magnesis a weapon? Yes, but a magnesis weapon doesn't do any damage. We gotta fight him. Okay. He noticed us, so we have to fight. And we can never use another tree branch. All right. And you can see he is restoring health. That is something that happens in this. We have to fight. Oh, God. We gotta fight him. There we go. He's dead. <laughs> so, yeah. um, We're going to be have, to have to be very careful here. Because now we only have the axe. Yeah, we need to go and get the Sheikah stuff as fast as possible for stealth. I think this is worth it for their weapons. It might not cause him to notice us. Yeah, he didn't notice us. No exclamation mark, but he did drop a weapon. Hopefully this does enough. All right, come on, hit him. Yes. Excellent, okay. Boko Club, good. And I don't think we can pick this up. Yeah, we can't pick that up. Oh, we don't have Magnesis yet. Oh, uh, well, I guess we'll go make, get Magnesis then, huh? Uh, oh, I guess we need to... Right. I forgot. Oh, man, ow, that's his challenge. We, we gotta go to the tower, I forgot. <laughs> Just gotta sneak on in. And hope we can get around him, because I don't think we can actually kill that one <laughs> with our current... Ah, oh, crap. I guess we gotta kill him. We have to kill him. <laughs> okay, we got the Traveler's Sword from him. That's good. And we got the Boko Shield. Hopefully that guy doesn't see me. Good. There we go. That's better. Alright. We got him out of the way. We got five arrows. Good. We weren't noticed by that one. Mounting a Lionel doesn't use durability. Yes, I guess if we need to, we could always mount the Lionel if we need to kill a Lionel. My god. Uh, I think first thing we need to get is Magnesis. We need Magnesis because what happens is if an enemy notices us, we can walk away and then come like come back as long as we're not like too far away, you know? There's, there's no exact amount, but we can always like get them to follow us to like a Magnesis chest if we need to. <laughs> well, that's our first reset. 
That is our first reset, and I'm gonna have a reset counter. All right, new game. Let's do it again. So we need to be a little bit more stealthy while getting to the tower, it seems. That is obvious, and then we need to be incredibly stealthy getting to bombs. If we can get to bombs, we should be fine. Because then we'll always have something to struggle with. But it's gonna obviously be a little bit of a problem. I need to remember to eat, because the oh, the reason why we died on that last run was just because I didn't eat. But yeah, I think the uh, the first Divine Beast we probably should go to is Divi is uh, Mipha's Grace. <clears throat> well, it's hard to say, because like, Urbosa's Fury is going to be super helpful. And I know the speedrun route for Urbosa's Fury. With that, we got to do a lot of stuff. Like, we're, we're going to have to figure out which one is the best option. I noticed them. I have to fight him. All right, wait, I can't do damage? It's like he's already dead. That's okay. I'm gonna assume that he's already dead. Yeah, you can't kill what's already dead, right? So we gotta go far enough away that we don't get noticed. This is the bomb shrine. This is very good because it means that we will be able to use bombs. We have to be- we, we can be a little bit less stealthy if- because no matter what, we'll have something to kill someone with. I believe there is a chest in here. Might be worth grabbing, seeing what it's got. If it's a weapon we already have, then obviously we will chuck it. But I think Traveler's Claymore, that's good. We don't have that yet. Did I just die? No. Nintendo Switch shirt, obviously we're going to switch. Uh, should we go into the Temple of Time now? I think we should, because we, we do need better armor for sure. I uh, see near the t oh there's a just just a Lionel just hanging out in here in master mode my god it's just there that's a savage Lionel too Jesus <laughs> will he see me if I stand here because if he sees me we're we're done I'm gonna wait till he turns okay okay <laughs> I think we're free from him. That's good. It's gonna be a little slow until we get to Kakariko and buy the stealth armor, because we're buying the stealth armor and we're probably gonna fully upgrade it. Okay, I'm gonna try and sneak strike this guy. If we can sneak strike him, we'll kill him in one hit. And that'll be very nice. Don't turn around. Damn it. Okay. He turned around. I don't- I think we need stealth stuff to be able to kill him. Alright. Cool. Soldier's bow. So now we got the traveler's bow and the soldier's bow. Yep. We can climb that mountain with stamina food and being very patient. Um, and we can also cook five of those and we'll just climb the mountain. Alright. Oh, oh time. Oh, oh time. Shrine. Love this shrine. Because I think this is going to have a shield in it, right? Like a traveler's shield or something? Damn, my memory's good. Alright. Ah, b -b -b breathtaking view. How do you know? Whatever. Just give me the give me the clothes, please. Thank you. Thank you, old man. We get phantom armor. Uh, I think we will probably prioritize phantom armor. The DLC stuff does exist. I won't get the, the um, Majora's Mask, but I think the phantom armor is fair game. Because, yeah... The, the phantom armor is surrounded by guardians whenever you go to it. It's surrounded by guardians and a Lionel. <laughs> so, I don't even know if we're gonna do that. But you do have to fight this. This is what ended the, the last run. Alright, I have an idea though. We might be able to make it through without him noticing. I'm willing to try this once. I'm willing to try this twice. He still hasn't noticed us. I'm willing to try this one more time. He didn't notice us. We're good. <laughs> I'm tempted to try something. Because I feel like it might work. Um, what is the best thing to use? Again? Probably that. That did work. <laughs> so we never had to kill him. He's never in my way. That worked great. We never had to deal with him. You know what? Since we're going into the Temple of Time and I don't want to waste any weapons, I'm gonna bring the boulder. Ah, I missed. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Okay, I really don't want to have to use weapons. This is harder than it seems. Okay. It really doesn't do that much damage, does it? Oh, it does. Never mind. There we go. Come on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, okay. Just drop it on myself, why don't I? Okay. There we go. Okay. Can we pick up a Boko Club? Well, that was terrifying. I almost just died. <laughs> a little spooky, but we're good. Hylian trousers. Beautiful. We'll throw those on. That's better armor. That's what we were going for before. Now we can go into... No! Jesus! Why? It, it, it canceled my magnesis. If you ever walk off of a... If you ever walk off of anything, this ledge canceled my magnesis. Uh, heart container, obviously. Obviously, we're using the heart container. Got the paraglider. I've made it off of the plateau. Only took an hour. So we're gonna go to Kakariko. That is the obvious choice. And I did say that no bombs in combat. What I didn't say was we weren't allowed like, we're still allowed to boomy zoomy. So, boomy zoomies make it a little bit more enjoyable and make it a little bit more fast. Here is the thing if I fail a boomy zoomy, I die. Or I, I, I lose a lot of health. I think that's a fair trade. <laughs> My inventory is full. So, now we need to make a decision. We already have the Traveler's Climber. What are we gonna yeet? And we can never pick up a tree branch again. This is why we needed... This is why we desperately needed more inventory space. Because I can never use that branch again. I can never use a branch again now. You know, I love this pole. These poles are like the perfect terrible height. Where you just barely don't have enough stamina to reach the top if you have one bar. It's just the worst. Let's go up now. Hopefully no one notices me. Mm, well that didn't work. That stopped us completely in our tracks. That sucked. We'll try that again. Good. Okay. We have to be very, very careful with my weapons though. Shield of mines. Guard up plus 19. Jesus. Excuse me? That's insane. Yeah, that was a good choice. I mean, the shield of the mind's eye doesn't have a lot of stamina, but it's good for shield surfing, so that's pretty cool. Alright, the, the strat for this shrine is very risky, but I'm going to do it anyways. Because I have faith in myself. Okay. We didn't fail it. <laughs> I'm a risk taker. Does master mode take away the one shot protection? It does? Oh, I should not have done that. <laughs> I absolutely should not have done that. All right. Well, in the next shrine, we're not going to do that. Eightfold long blade. Nice. All right. Well, uh, guess what we're eating? Because I don't have the inventory space. I believe that one will be the best. Good. Should be a good horse then. Let's register it. Hey! Hi. Went to my stable. I don't. Oh, heck. N O A S T E R S. Ah, uh, I can't. It's only nine characters. I can't. What am I supposed to name it then? You know, no, wait, 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 wait. Here we go. We're going to name it. Read rules. It fits perfectly. It's fate. Oh. All right. Are you sure you want to name this horse read rules? Yes, I do. If at any point someone asks, I can just whistle or I can be like, all right, let's take a look really quick. Oh, I can't see it. If we're not near our horse, we'll be able to do it. Read the rules. Come here. Read the rules. There we go. Good, we got him. Beautiful. 
He did notice me. The exclamation point did show. I'm gonna do a huge brain strat right here. Don't try this at home. Please go away, horse. Oh, well, that's the last of our iron sledgehammers that we can ever use. Cool. That was a waste. I, you know what? <laughs> you know what? You know what? We'll just make it easy. So we're gonna go chop down some trees really quick to try and get a, uh, a Korok Leaf. And is the Korok Leaf gonna be one of the most broken weapons in this challenge? If so, that would just... That would be hilarious. If this doesn't work, I'm grabbing the Magnesis block for the Korok. Oh, there it is. Alright, our one precious Korok Leaf that I am going to drop a weapon for. I th I'm actually dropping a weapon for a Korok Leaf. Am I a little bit crazy? Could be. Very well could be. But we got the Leaf, baby. Stealth Armor and the Korok Leaf. Yeah, you know what? That's a good idea. We'll come back when we have Stealth Armor. We can walk up to them and then just blow them off of the edge. That, okay, here's all the stealth armor. How much does it cost? Uh, 600, 700, 500. God damn. That's a lot. Bye, okay. We're gonna buy the chest piece, I think. Because that's technically better than the armor we currently have. It's a start. Okay. Thanks, you. Enhance clothing. Enhance away. We, we can't enhance that? Alright. Blue Nightshades. Cool. We have enough to enhance the full set for Blue Nightshades, which is great. Which is great. I just need to buy it. Let's watch the cutscene, why not? Beautiful, we got a little kiss. Very nice. Do, 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 do. Cool. So that's our best armor now. <laughs> no thanks. Well, yeah. We're gonna buy the pants. And now we only need, uh... Two flints? Nah, I couldn't do it. And now we are left with six. Alright, and... Put it on, put it on. Now we're stealthy, boys. Uh, not fully stealthy, but pretty damn stealth. And we just need to upgrade this. Alright. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the most powerful weapon in the game. <laughs> oh. Oops. There we go. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> One shots every enemy. Let's go. We got the maracas. And this is why we got the Korok leaf. <laughs> he had one Korok seed. I got them. Yes, please. And we get a quick listen, of course. And I won't skip it. I won't skip it. Beautiful. There you go. Another weapon slot. Very nice. Uh, big brain strat. Check this out. Check it. My brain is massive. So big. Absolutely huge. I have such a large brain. Did you see that? How big my brain was? Whoa. Damn, he has a big brain. Let's try that again. Wow, his brain is so big. That's incredible. That's so good. Whoa. There we go. What happens if your horse got horse dies? We can't bring him back. There we go. Yes, die. All right, all right. What are we coloring this? Choose a color. What color are we doing? Okay, white one by 1%. So we're gonna do white. Lionel Horns, White Shoe Jelly, Diamonds, Silent Princesses. Is that a bottle of milk? Star Fragments? Okay, we could get milk, I think. Where do you get milk from? You can buy milk in the shop? Okay. We'll buy some milk. Yo! Okay. Yes, die. We've acquired the milk. Thanks for the business. Here we go. I've never seen this cutscene before, by the way. What's this even look like? Haha! 
Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. We got those style points now. Oh no. Link died. Runs over, guys. Guess we gotta restart. <laughs> the next is the, the Akala Fairy Fountain. That's where we're gonna go next. The power of Fire. Really cute. Oh crap. Oh no. This has a lot of health. My pot lid broke. I wasn't even using my pot lid. <laughs> what? We may run out of weapons. Drop bombs. We can only use stasis. Stasis what? Okay. Shoot me. Okay, that does a lot, actually. Yeah. That does do a decent amount. We're moving. It's unfortunate that we lost so many of our weapons, though. Doing that when we could have parried it from the start. Parries left and right. Ow, my face. Uh, yikes. There we go. One more. And done. Ooh. It's actually kind of nice, though. Got a guardian sword. All right, so we will be able to upgrade our stealth armor again. If we have the right ingredients, but... Yeah, all right. 500? We do have... Oh. Here you go. All right. Level 2 fairy. I'll be able to upgrade the armor again, and then... I don't know if we'll level it up one more time. We'll see. Enhance away. Oh, we also need blue nightshades. God, where can we find more blue nightshades? Enhance away. All right. Now we can upgrade all of the, the stealth chest guard once again. Get a little bit more armor. What do the nightshades do? They allow us to upgrade the armor. Because we need stealth. It's very useful. Pants away. Stealth tights. Good. Alright. That's probably enough to go fight Mifa. You want you want to see a cool strat that I, uh, that I like to do? Okay. Here's the cool strat. That's the cool strat. <laughs> Pretty fancy, right? What do you guys think? Should we fight the Lionel? I feel like we should fight the Lionel. I feel like it could be fun. This is a bad idea. What's our strongest weapon? Battle axe, frost blade. Oh, we'll be fine. You just use that great high school memory of mine. Actually, speaking of high school memories, so I have a friend that, you know, let's just say, um, his name started with the letter K. And he was like the uh, the the DJ for all of the school dances. Me and a friend of mine, we tried to convince him that his DJ name should be Special K, which is just stupid, obviously, right? But he obvi and he refused because that's dumb. And uh, what ended up happening was over the course of like I think it was a week, we ended up figuring out his locker combination just by like peeking over whenever we were like talking at a locker or something, just paying a little bit more attention than we should have. And once we figured out the, his passcode, we went out, I think we spent over a hundred dollars on Special K cereal. Over a lunch hour when he went out for lunch, we packed his locker with Special K cereal, closed it, locked it up, and then <laughs> we just waited for him to come back from lunch. And uh, he ended up just opening it, it like just fell completely out of his locker, obviously, because it was packed full. And he, we just started laughing <laughs> top of our lungs, and he just looked at us. Okay, fine. It's Special K now. And so from that, that day on, we called him Special K, just even without, like, him even DJing. It was great. <laughs> it was fantastic. All right, here we go. Let's see what it's like up there. If it's a red one, I think we can kill it. Looks like a red Lionel to me. Okay, you guys told me to do it. I'll do it. Whoa! Uh... Um... Several long sword, that'll work. Good, get the strong weapon out, get on his back, mount him, attack him!
Uh, so for longsword, okay. All right. Okay, that did a lot. My God. Um, that's defense up. We'll have to eat that. That sword does a lot. Okay. God damn it. He has so much range. I only did one. Okay, that did a lot. Damn it. Ah. Is this going to be a reset? No. He has so much HP. Come on! Uh, I gotta use the eightfold long blade. Go, go, go! Ooh! Come on, keep going. Gotta eat. Good. I think we've got it. I think I'm starting to figure it out. I should not have said a single word. All right. Come on. Get into him. Get to him. Is that enough? No, it's not enough. There's no way that's enough. Okay. Come on. Got to hit him again. Yeah, we gotta hit him with the axe, hit him with the axe. Come on. Almost there. Come on. Ooh. Is that it? Yes. <laughs> okay. We got it. We got all the good stuff. Never listening to chat again. <laughs> so, and that was a red, that was the easiest Lionel, by the way. That was the easiest possible Lionel it could have been. I think the next level Lionel up is 10 times the amount of HP. I don't have enough inventory space. So before we go and fight the boss in the dungeon, what I'm going to do quickly is we're going to go and grab more inventory space. Just do a little bit of a, a detour real quick. Come on, get, get, just do the thing. It's so thin. It's not working. What? Yeah, that's what I was going for. Just gonna do intended strats. Yeah, this is intended strats, right? You just lift this up. And you, uh, you put it just in a convenient place. You drop it on the ground a few times. Because apparently, you don't know how to stasis things. It's, it's going right, it's like it's unstasisable. I don't know, man. I don't think the shrine can be done with the rats. You know what? Just kill me. Actually, wait, this is permadeath. Nah, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> when it's convenient, it turns itself. Yes, of course. Alright. There we go. Those are some beautiful intended strats. Korok, Seed, Weapon Stash, please, yes. Thank you. Hestu! Okay, good. Alright, we're gonna fight one of the bosses right now. Might be a bit tricky. Flower Blight Ganon. As long as we're careful, we won't have to do the fight. We'll see. Okay, so it turns out we did have to fight Flower Blight. Unfortunately, we did have to face Flower Blight, but that's okay. We did manage to- okay, we finished the fight. You can see we have a- we're, we have a good amount of food now. Uh, we need to go to the statue, and let's start, uh, 
Start doing the dang thing. I have a PO box now. Check the fact for the address. It's also in the Discord in the info or and in the info panels. If you want to send me something and want me to open it up on stream, I'm gonna wait until I have like a bunch of stuff. We're gonna open it up all at once. Make a YouTube video out of it. So if you want to send me something cool, got the PO box. Or something not cool. It's up to you. You know, you can send me some like just gar garbage in a box. As long as it, you know, it's not illegal. I don't care. It's time for the first divine beast after six hours of prep. But now that we've done all the prep, I think we'll be ready to just go from Divine Beast to Divine Beast. Because, like, it'll be a lot more straightforward now that we have this done. Alright, swimming upwards. Cool. Pretty simple. She's authenticated. One more terminal. And now we can fight Water Blight. Mm-hmm. Water Blight. Wait, 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 wait. Uh-oh. This is fine. Can we stand on this? We can! Let's go. This is fine! We're good. And we're gonna... Whoop! And... Yep! Whoop! Just gotta... Grab this really quick. Okay, we're up onto the little thing here. Beautiful. Look at that. What an easy divine beast. What do you think? First try? I mean, it has to be first try or else I'm dead. <laughs> so let's do it. And water blight. Let's see if all that prep works. I think we'll be okay. No. You sit on the ground and you do not attack me like that, okay? I do not appreciate your attitude. <laughs> Get back on the ground. All right, phase two. I'm already like a quarter way through the fight. Yeah, this might not be so bad. Get in the mental damage, of course. Actually, wait, can I do this? Isn't this a thing? Yeah, that's a thing. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll get rid of this one. And we'll stasis this one. Boom, boom, boom. The Lionel was harder? Yeah, the, the Lionel was harder for sure. Whoa. You know what? No, no, we're parrying. We're pa we gotta parry. You know we gotta parry. Uh oh. Okay. We gotta parry. We gotta do something. All right. You know we have to parry. Where is our weakest shield? There we go. I, it's just we can lose one. Get up. Is he... Oh, I killed him. Whoops. <laughs> he wouldn't get up. All right, I guess he just gave up. That's one of the Divine Beasts done. Quarter of the challenge complete. All right. Nice. So that is Mifa's Grace. We have Mifa's Grace now. I think now we're at the point where we can just rush all of the Divine Beasts. So we're going to do that. We're going to rush the Divine Beasts. So I think we're going to try and finish this tomorrow. Because there's three Divine Beasts left. The the Yiga hide, hideout is the hardest one because we can get insta-killed. Mifa's Grace and Fairies don't affect it. We could die tomorrow. We can do, the, do everything. I will see you guys tomorrow, 1 p.m., and I think we'll finish. Follow if you haven't already. Follow me on, you know, Twitter. Join the Discord. Sub on YouTube. Do whatever you need to, whatever you want to. But uh, it was a good stream today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, everyone.